in this tip of the day, let's take a close look at the wear away and wear closer cutter comp options provided by 1CNC. Now in this example, all we're doing is we're applying a profile operation to our part. And let's say that we want to use cutter comp. Let's take a look at the available options. I'm going to head over to the NC manager. I'm going to right hand mouse click and select edit operation. Now let's quickly move through the dialog boxes until we come to our cutter compensations page. All right. So for compensation, we have four different options. We have automatic. That means that one CNC will not output cutter comp. It will not output a G41 or a G42. The next option is at control. This will output cutter comp, but at the control, you're going to need to type in the diameter of the tool. Now the next two options, wear closer and wear away, these will also output cutter comp. These will also output G41 and G42, but they work a little bit different. All right, let's first take a look at this option called wear away. So with the wear away option, this definitely is going to output cutter comp, but at the control, you're going to start with zero as the diameter of the tool. So let's say you start running the parts and after let's say 50 parts, you take a part out and you measure the part. And let's say that the part is small by 10 thousandths. You need the part to get bigger or larger by 10 thousandths. If that's the case, that means that at the control, you simply type in 10 thousandths as the diameter of the tool. This will make the part grow or get larger by 10 thousandths. Now, where closer works the same way, but in reverse. Let me explain. You're still going to start with zero as the diameter of the tool, right? This is going to output cutter comp. Let's say you machine 50 parts. You take a part out of the CNC. You measure it. And now let's say that the part is too big. It's actually too big by 10 thousandths. You need the part to shrink 10 thousandths. If that's the case, on the control, you type in 10 thousandths for the diameter. But in this case, when you type in 10 thousandths, because you're using where closer, one CNC will make the part shrink by 10 thousandths. So just remember, where away will make your part larger by whatever you type in for the diameter, and where closer will make your part smaller by whatever you type in as the diameter out there on the control. All right. Hey, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.